at his restaurant Osteria Francescana in Modena. Acclaimed chef Massimo Bottura recalls childhood memories of his own family's balsamic vinegar of Modena and reflects on the passion that drives his relentless creativity. There's this amazing restaurant that we opened uh, 23 years ago in the middle of Pianura Padala, in the middle of the food valley. I create a laboratory of ideas. It's a place, it's a small place where we, we do, we create culture. Uh, we became ambassador for our agriculture. Uh, we train people. Uh, it's an agent of uh, tourism, gastronomic tourism, and now even uh, ambassador for socials. is a place where we experiment and get deep into our knowledge. Going this, learn from there, try to find a solution of problem on problems. Put together the knowledge of people that are coming from all over the world. You know, we are 60 people to serve 30 guests. So it's like, and people from Japan, uh, Mexico, United States, England, Canada, uh, south of Italy, north of Italy, east, west, Croatia, Russia. So I have, I have to let them express themselves and tell me who they are and where they come from in an edible way. And I can learn from them and become better and better and better. Let them express, let, let push them to explain who they are and where they come from. So once this knowledge is developed and you start receiving prizes, you know, and uh, three star Michelin, best chef in the world, best restaurant in the world, seven years in the three best restaurant, uh, whatever, you know, it's time to give back because your consciousness is open and from consciousness to this, the consciousness of who you are and what you can do and from the consciousness of the sense of responsibility, the step is very short. Once you reach the top of everything, um, if you have culture, it's time to give back. Culture, knowledge, consciousness, sense of responsibility. So it's extremely important to realize that and not to talk about just yourself, but talk about the whole area and what you can do for the others. And so Osteria is all this. It represents uh, a way to look at Italian cuisine in a very critical point of view and not from a nostalgic one. To get the best from the past and uh, project into the future. Guarantee the future of tradition. Modena. Uh, I, I said Modena, no? Modena, Modena. Modena is the land of uh, slow food and fast cars. Slow food, why slow food? Because we know from generation to get the right thing you have to wait wait to to fish the right fish you have to wait and uh, you know till you know the right fish is coming and getting deep and deep and deep is exactly the same thing with product to get the the perfect parmigiano you have to wait the right season the right milk you know and when it's ready is ready it's like is the way to preserve tradition and uh, to me, I always said that uh, Parmigiano is my muscles, but in my vein, there's balsamic vinegar. And I drink a lot too much Lambrusco, so my head is spinning around and always too confused and bubbly up in the sky. I dream too much and too big. Balsamic vinegar. I, I'm, I'm going to use balsamic vinegar. For me, it's always been balsamic vinegar as, you know, uh, it's something that, you know, when you are in a kitchen, you don't, first of all, you don't have to lose yourself in the everyday life. You have to get the product and welcome the product in the kitchen as they were people. Caress them, 
talking to them, understand them, taste them, and then the product, they're going to talk to you. Because this is the point, is your palate is the most important tool you have, chef guy. Remember, always remember, you know, your palate is the, and your brain, but first of all, the palate is the most important tool. You have to, you have to work with it. You have to ask, you have to question, you have to have doubt and, you know, give answer. So when you have such an incredible opportunity to use a product like that, you have to be very alert, not to lose yourself in the everyday life and pay respect. So the end of the story. You, students, you, young generation, if you have the right idea, if you stimulate your palate, if you can ask yourself questions at which you can give answers, trust yourself because this is extremely important. It's something that is going to stay with you forever because once you learn, you get deeper and deeper and deeper into things. And when you trust yourself and you're confident with yourself, you create your own future. But at the end of the day, being a chef, you have, uh, you confront two different, you know, journey. One is follow tradition. And then what do you need? You need to be so straight to follow what other people wrote and uh, buy the best ingredients, the best seasonal ingredients and replicate day by day, not losing yourself in the everyday life. Or you decide to write your own music. That is the most difficult thing ever. And in, uh, in uh, what you do every day, you if you ask me what I do every day in my life, I answer, I compress into edible bites my passion. Music, art, reading, food. Sitting on centuries of history, because I'm sitting on centuries and centuries of tradition, Italian tradition, filtered by a contemporary mind. So everything that comes out from that kitchen is my mind, my ideas, okay? So the meaning is, most of the time they ask me, where you take your inspiration, you know? It's a great confusion, my brain. It's a chaos, creative chaos, in which you, you know, you're always on. You listen to Billie Holiday, walking from Madison Park to Union Square, deciding what you can create uh, to express New York. And you listen to Autumn in New York and, uh, you know, you have, uh, you have the idea. Or you look at a Damien Hirst painting, spin painting, and you decide instead of serving the sauces perfectly done with the right things to splash all the sauces in the plate and transform the side dishes into color. Or you see Taka that is almost killing himself because he made a mistake and he dropped a lemon tart in a plate and you decide to serve the second lemon tart mash into the plate as the first one and create oops I dropped the lemon tart as a as a provocation in a three Michelin star restaurant serving a broken lemon tart serving a dream because once you realize that people they want to come to Osteria Francescana to eat not just simple good food that you can eat in every place in the world but eat emotions at that point, the crunchy part of the lasagna is pure emotion. The emotion of a kid that confront his brothers who, to steal the crunchy part of the lasagna when the grandmother was bringing the lasagna, you know, in the middle of the table for Sunday lunch. You know, we were fighting over the crunchy part. So 
I want every single person that comes to Osteria to try and eat the crunchy part of the lasagna. So at the end, the inspiration, it's memory, it's culture, it's passion. When I, when I, when, what I can suggest to you guys, it's get deep into your interest. You have an interest, can be a motorcycle, can be whatever, music, you know, get deep into your interest. One day, those interests, they became passion. And through passion, you can transfer emotions. Mm -hmm.